million dollar cotillion, the 10th from Parks. And they're off, and the cotillion stakes, and Sweet Lulu came bouncing right out of there. And Sweet Lulu, with a very alert start, gets the early lead. Carnival Court is at the inside second as my happy face quickly comes up on the outside. Seating Girl will be fourth in between horses into the first turn. Close Hatch is widest of the lead group. She's on the outside moving up from fifth. Dancing a Fleet sits a ground saving sixth. She's followed closely by Asaya. Then it's about three and a half or four to promise me more. And Street Girl at the back of the back trails the field. They go to the back stretch off an opening quarter of 23 and four. And it's Sweet Lulu in front. Sweet Lulu by three quarters of a length. She's prompted on the outside by My Happy Face, and Close Hatches is right with those two. So the big three fillies are right together with five-eighths to go. In fact, they are now lined up across the track. On the inside, it's Sweet Lulu. The filly in between is My Happy Face, and Close Hatches on the outside. So those three fillies race as a team to the half-mile pole. It's about four back to Seating Girl in fourth. They went the half in 47-1. and one. They're heading for the far turn. My happy faces drop back just a bit. So the battle is now joined between Sweet Lulu, the unbeaten filly on the inside, and Close Hatches is right at her neck. We're shaping up for another dramatic stretch run here in the Cotillion Stakes. On the inside, Sweet Lulu continues to cling to a short lead. Mike Smith is yet to ask Close Hatches. She now draws on even terms at the top of the stretch. My happy face trying to get re-involved on the outside, but Close Hatches comes off the turn and gets the lead. Sweet Lulu was given way down at the inside. My happy face at driving third. Dancing a fleet rallies late. Straight girl on the far outside. It's Close Hatches. Close Hatches with a 16 to go. It's opened up by two and a half. The others are closing, but it's too little, too late. It will be Close Hatches. Close Hatches wins the cotillion by just over two at the end. Well, photo for second, Close Hatches did what most expected. That's why she was six to five. She was very close oh, yeah, up very to the unusual paper. ride from Mr. Perez there on Dance to Bristol. Well, that losing streak comes to an end, looking to win her eighth in a row. But it's Close Hatches, Mike Smith, Bill Mott. They've won some pretty big races together over the years and 520 on your winner they're gonna try to do it again next Saturday at Belmont Park in the Bell Dame with Royal Delta 520 you think you think Drosselmeyer Breeders Cup Classic and Close Hatches yeah you know I guess if you like Close Hatches and many people did you paid 520 guys I guess you felt pretty good. The way she was going to lose this race was maybe early on if she was a little bit too far back. But she she laid close early on. When the pace was slow, as close as she was, you figured she was going to be tough, and she was. Well, you know, Matty and Paulie, going into the turn, it looked like Streaker was really rolling uh, on the outside, and she ends up grinding into the photo for second. I don't believe she got second. No, she finished third in here behind Sweet Lulu. But, uh, no, close hatches. I mean, she she was ridden like she was the best, and she proved she Yeah, was you know what? Listen, she had the little bottom of going around two turns.